George kept on recording albums, and he kept his options open for a hit. He released Osmium with Parliament in 1970 and Free Your Mind and Your Ass Will Follow that same year with Funkadelic. I'd started out writing for Rolling Stone as a journalist. One day I got two albums in the mail, Parliament and Funkadelic, and I realized this is the same band <laughs> with two different labels, two different names, two different sounds. So I did the article for Rolling Stone, it came out. George called me up about a month after it ran, and he says, uh, can you come and work for me? And I go, yeah, George, I'm a white guy in San Francisco. He said, you could be a purple guy from Mars. Uh, you know what the funk's about. I'm going out with this big spaceship tour, and I need someone to spread the word. And I was like, George, a spaceship? And George said, yeah, a fucking spaceship. And to his credit, George put all of his resources and all the money that he was making and all the advances he could get from various record labels into building that mothership for live shows. The crowd would see the mothership fly, and then all of a sudden the stage would light up and the mothership would descend, and smoke would go off, and George would appear. People went batshit crazy. I mean, I'm telling you, people went fucking nuts. They'd never seen anything like it. The Mothership Connection landed George Clinton and his bands their greatest public exposure. And he backed it up with his biggest song to date. With Give Up the Funk, George Clinton, Parliament, and Funkadelic left the underground behind. As soon as we put the record out, Star Wars came out, and it was just like, wow. But I think what got me going into the sci-fi really was Star Trek. I was a tracker, for real. Matter of fact, when Close Encounters came out, Julia Phillips, the producer of it, wanted me to do the soundtrack. That did not end up going so well. He was like, okay, something is wrong with this picture. So he figured if I start smiling like Bootsy doing, I'll get some mouth. And sure enough, he starts smiling. Every magazine you pick up, he had this big smile. I was like, that's my <laughs>